we're talking about the joins up cycle. Yeah. So there's a cycle of rare legendary enchantments in Outlaws that feature legendary characters who have joined Oko's gang. And I think they pretty clearly reference an earlier cycle. Yeah, I remember when we saw these initially, we commented that this was very reminiscent of the Oath of cycle mm -hmm. that we initially saw back in Oath of the Gatewatch. Or it started there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that no, was 20, 2016. That was the small set. They were still in the block era, so mm -hmm. the large set was Battle for Zendikar. Yeah, yeah, Battle for Zendikar. Battle. So the Eldrazi are coming, they're conquering everything. I think that's when they printed the three newer Eldrazi Titans. Um, I mm -hmm. think it was like two in the big set and one in Oath of the Gatewatch was the second set. And so there are four. Everyone except uh, Black is covered there. So we had Nissa for green, Chandra for red, Jace for blue, and Gideon for white. And in each case, you have an effect when the enchantment enters the battlefield. And then every time another Planeswalker joins up, you get another bonus. And a lot of them are specifically Planeswalker-themed. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and then we see uh, this cycle kind of continues over the next couple of years. The next yeah. one with Oath of Liliana adding black to the cycle with um, Eldritch Moon. Yeah, and that was just six months after mm -hmm. the, the first ones. And then that continues. We get Oath of Ajani um, in Aether Revolt a little bit later. Uh, like early 2017, um, followed by we don't get another one until Dominaria, uh, which is Dominaria. about a year later. Yeah. So this this is drawn out a bit, mm -hmm. um, and then the last one we get is actually Oath of Kaya with War of the Spark, and yeah. then following that we we don't get any more of these. Um, this goes over a couple of years, um, ending in what was that 2019? Yeah. War of the Spark. So we start out in 2016, up through 2019. We get our initial batch, followed by yeah. like a slow trickle of additions, and then no more. I imagine that. that has something to do with this trend away from planeswalkers. That makes sense. <clears throat> um, yeah, <laughs> they've that, kind of decentered yeah. planeswalkers. The designers have yeah. mentioned, I think, a few times that they mm -hmm. they aren't. I don't know if the, how much the designers said about it, but people in general, a lot of people kind of complain about them in a lot of contexts. They add a lot of complexity. And I think a large part of it is now Commander is kind of mm -hmm. the center of the Magic Universe. And Super Friends decks are just miserable. They're miserable to play against. And having piloted one one time, I like yeah. I made my Atraxa into a Super Friends deck and I hated playing it. I was miserable. I think everyone else was miserable. <laughs> I honestly don't remember playing against okay. that. I don't know what I was playing. I personally don't find them that miserable to play against, but I understand that the popular opinion yeah. is they're not well liked. And the only way to it seems <clears throat> to make them make planeswalkers function in commander is if you have just so many of them yeah. that they can't all be removed because normally if someone plays mm -hmm. one planeswalker Everyone knows, oh, you've got to target that right yeah. away because otherwise it gets out of control. Yeah, typically, unless it's something really lackluster, they immediately get targeted. They so don't they get never to do get to do yeah, the <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, and I think most Super Friends decks that I've seen kind of function in that way where they're trying to reach a critical mass of just so yeah. many Planeswalkers that... In the, and there's not a lot of effects that just get rid of all of them. Mm -hmm. There's a handful of things that can kind of blow them all up, but yeah. it, they're much more... Difficult to deal with on mass than like large boards of creatures or yeah. artifacts or other kinds of things that we deal with in the game. Um, so I get that. I guess yeah. that maybe that's where some of the complaints come from is that you don't necessarily want to play around that contingency mm -hmm. or be in a situation where you just can't deal with them. Yeah. But either way, um, that may have something to do with why we're not seeing Planeswalkers. And the Oath of Cycle. And the Oath of Cycle in the same way that we were in the past few years. <laughs> and I think the story-wise, <laughs> yeah. too, I don't know how much it was a reaction to mm -hmm. this kind of reputation and complaint from the player base, which may have been a vocal minority of the player base saying, ah, oh, this is Possibly. just, it's like a yeah. lame Justice League ripoff. I do think that decentralizing Planeswalkers as key elements of every story. Mm -hmm 
does kind of open up the lore for us to explore yeah. more characters, more places. It doesn't all... I mean, we are still seeing many of these formerly central characters are yeah. still in the story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they have not vanished, yeah. but... Um, but I think part of the reason that mm-hmm. the Wizards decided to take the story this route to opening the Omening Pass yeah. is because they wanted to be able to focus on legendary characters, non-planeswalkers, crossing mm-hmm. different planes. And that could be, too, like, if, if they are... If all of these things are informing each other and Commander kind of having mm-hmm. become sort of the center of the magic universe, most planeswalkers cannot be your commander. Right. Yeah. So, unless... And I... I don't think there's any plan to change that rule. That would have happened already. That would have happened if it was going to. So that could also be a thing like, oh, if we have the, if these are the characters that the game revolves around, but they can't meaningfully, meaningfully participate in the primary format most people are playing. That's a bit of a disconnect. So that, that could have something to do with it, but this is all pure speculation. Yeah. 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 (laughs) But... So, I mean, why would they want to make a reference to the Oath of mm-hmm. Sirius? Because I don't think this was a super popular cycle. I've played one or two very occasionally in any yeah. decks ever at all. I think I've only ever played with the Oath of Teferi. Yeah. I mean, in fact, one of the reasons I was excited to build mm-hmm. that, that Super Friends Attracts a deck was like, finally, I can use all these oaths. And yeah. it's still just... <laughs> have something to do with these yeah. i actually fun fact i built a super friends attraxa too except mine was just soren planeswalkers <laughs> and it was real bad it was really really bad That's funny yeah anyway uh so yeah we have this cycle um and now in outlaws of thunder junction we have the joins up cycle which is kind of reminiscent of that yeah um I think it's interesting that previously, I think except for Teferi and Kaya, they were all mono-colored enchantments. Yeah. And we have a little more variety here. We have the mono-black with tiny bones. Mm-hmm. We have a couple dual-colored. And then we have uh, two three-color yeah. enchantments to play with. So we do get everything represented in this one five-color set. I'm trying to math that out to have roughly set. the same color yeah. representation. We have two black, two white, two red... Three green, one blue. So it's close. But they let it be a little imbalanced for whatever mm-hmm. reason. But there are more members of the gang, so I don't know why yeah. they decided to make exactly five of them. Mm. But uh, other content creators have mentioned that the the color balance in rare is not symmetrical. <laughs> like we have these one-off three-color... It, it, there's not a cycle of three-color planeswalkers. Yeah. It's just some things are represented. Some are represented twice, like Naya. Annie and Annie joins that's, up. Yeah, that's Others true. just aren't. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, between one and four of each combination. It's it's unusual and kind of weird. Yeah, one of the interesting things about these is they're all by the same artist. Yeah. One hypothesis I have about the reason this cycle exists is they said, we love Wiley Beckert, justifiably. Yeah. Does incredible work. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and, and someone was like, we wish we could get Wiley to illustrate all these legendary creatures, but their style is so idiosyncratic that it doesn't mm-hmm. look like a normal legendary creature. But then you have this perfect opportunity yeah. to where they're, you're already rendering these characters in the set in a more traditional fantasy art way. Mm-hmm. And this series gives you a chance to get a little creative. Yeah, each, each of these characters already has their own legendary creature representation in the set. Uh, so here we do get to see a different depiction of them artistically. Uh, The rest of them are all pretty standard fantasy magic art. Yeah. Um, And this style is a little more unique. Um, It definitely stands out against the other cards. Um, And I really like it. Yeah. I enjoy this a lot. I I like the parallel... Uh, we, we reference what mechanically happens, the similarity yes. where there's the ability on the, the enchantment yeah, itself entering enchantment the battlefield enters. and when a group, when, when a member joins the group. Mm-hmm. But I like what that's trying to mechanically represent. Or I think it's interesting. I think that's a thing magic has always kind of struggled to represent. Like the game, the sort of analogy, the metaphor of the game is good at representing, oh, if someone casts a spell, okay. if someone, if I, if I want to have the, the kind of, player character throw a fireball at the battlefield that's what this game's that's the bread and butter of this game that's easy we got sorceries we got instants we don't have a convenient or easy to 
flavorfully convey, and then this event happens. That's not something you cast. Yeah. And so... This is it, this kind of reminds me of some of the sagas sort of give that feeling. Yeah, that feels like another um, sort of way to Sort of that. kind of kind of has that feeling to it. Um, but there aren't a lot. That's yeah. not the primary way that we kind yeah. of interact with the cards or the thing that it feels like the cards are illustrating. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a very cool way to do that. The the enchantments enter, something happens, and then they all have a secondary effect whenever yeah. a legendary creature enters the field. Or there, one of them is whenever a triggered ability of a legendary con- creature triggers, it happens yeah. again. So there's kind of some cool synergy here. Yeah. Um, I don't think any of these feed into each other in a really busted way but yeah. there are some fun combinations you could do but it feels more flavorful yeah. than anything yeah. that these each they represent <clears throat> that that thing happening mm-hmm. um and not to go too far off on a tangent but the other card now it's kind of an archetype of red card in itself is reunions okay that yeah when i first saw it i was like what is this flavor <laughs> and then i thought about it and i think it's just there's no way to clearly and easily represent this this thing happens this like okay. pivotal story yeah. moment happens in a card um and so reunions have come to be represented by oh i guess you know i, I think the flavor of reunions cathartic reunion i mm-hmm. think was the first one but now it's you know this bitter reunion is an enchantment but they all function in the same way it's the reunion cards are characters come together and presumably kind of their their whole mental perspective shifts and so you have new possibilities represented with new cards Mm -hmm. i don't know it's both clumsy (laughs) in the 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 card types really don't match what's Mm -hmm. being presented but it's neat that someone some the designers did that and you can tell that's what they're trying to convey yeah that's um it's interesting to think about things like that and how how these story moments figure into design we don't for the most part do we do not see new card types i think yeah. battle was like one of the first in new card very types long time. in forever like yeah. that's not something and i think that's good that we're not getting yeah, lots yeah, yeah. of new card types don't get me wrong i do not want lots of new card types <laughs> but it does create an interesting challenge in how to convey those kinds of moments in a game that is primarily at its core player characters slinging spells yeah or summoning creatures Mm -hmm. um so i think this is a cool way to do that i like that not all of well i guess two of them are have too much going on wording wise to include flavor text but i kind of like that only three of them have flavor text yeah (laughs) i sort of wish they all did but kellen joins up and raktos joins up just have too many words in the text box so the if there was ever flavor text planned it probably got cut to make room for that Mm -hmm. um annie joins up tiny bones and vraska joining up or they have a little bit less going on in the rules text so they all got their flavor text on there um (laughs) Which is quite fun. I, I particularly like Tiny Bones. Um, it was going to be the greatest heist of his unlife. I, yeah. that, well, you just that you makes love me everything smile. Tiny Bones. I do. And that's, that is right. I that's do. morally right. <laughs> I have no... Like, I don't feel like I need to defend that no, stance. No, I don't. Yes. Okay. Just observing. <laughs> but yes, I do love Tiny Bones. I'm mainly pointing it out so I can agree with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. I think they've also set things up nicely so like the oath cycle they can keep printing mm-hmm. into this cycle because they didn't say joins the gang or anything sure. to kind of flavorfully tie it yeah tie this isn't this. like closed ended mm-hmm. it, it does feel like this could continue if so they, they can, wanted to they can do it in commander supplemental yeah. sets they can do it in main sets whatever yeah they could explore this in a couple of different ways they could even use this as an opportunity to keep having wiley becker do that's all the legendary true. creatures <laughs> that's that is an interesting is idea. idea which i uh, i would be very interested to see that yes please yes i you know i don't i initially kind of wondered if these make a panorama of some sort when stitched together but yeah. i don't think they do i don't think so either I've been trying to figure that out while we were looking at them, but I don't yeah. think they fit together that way. Oh, and we're both on the, the Art Collectors Facebook group, and uh-huh. I've been watching as they, the sketches have been posted. Yes. They don't they don't seem to be arranged yeah, together. They, no... There doesn't seem to... Even though they are very contiguous in the sense of style and lighting, yeah. 
um, these don't fit together. I'm always looking for that because yeah. of the various land, like the basic land cycles we've seen a few times where mm -hmm. we actually had a panorama. They all have like this waterfall. <laughs> yeah. Is that what that is? So it looks like a waterfall at a, a glance, but <laughs> I don't know that that's actually what we're seeing. Um, when you're sitting back away from it, though, it does look like a waterfall. I mean, it's, it's not Ashiok's face because Ashiok yeah. doesn't have eyes. If it's a face, it has this... It's almost like Sauron's crown type yeah. of thing up top. So I don't, I don't know, but it's neat. It's intriguing. Yeah, like you mystery. can you can see it in... You can see different parts of it in each one. Yeah. I don't know. You read all of the story. That doesn't look like something... It's not something that okay. I retain, but I have a terrible memory. So okay. who knows? Yeah, I have no idea what it is. If someone but it's cool. does know, please put it in yes, the comments. Yes, please. <laughs> Please tell us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. Yep. I think that's a wrap. <laughs>